Reducing anaesthesia in our sedated rabbit. I use a Faxalone, I use tiny little amounts, so that was a 0.05 mil bolus. And then I give it a little bit of a flush. And the first thing that we want to do while we're sedating the patient is to pop a little bit of intrabees down the back of the mouth. We let that work. Obviously our nurse, whilst we're intubating our patient, is going to be paying real close attention to her, watching her breathing, listening to her heart and everything as well. Once that is placed, um, the intubus is in place, we're going to use a long metal cone on our otoscope, so we're going to visualise the epiglottis. So I have my patient in sternal recumbency. I like to hold the head, but sometimes I get the nurse to help me as well if it's particularly awkward. Exteriorize the tongue, but do not pull it too much as we're gonna stimulate a cardiac arrhythmias, which is obviously the last thing that we want to be doing in our patient. Then using the otoscope comb, put it in the corner of the mouth and down the back of the throat. And typically the soft palate is over the top of the epiglottis. You can't actually see it. So sometimes what I do is blow a little bit down there that can flick it off. Sometimes we just need to pop the endotracheal tube down there just a little bit to pop it over the top of the epiglottis as well. So if you wouldn't mind, do you mind popping that camera right over the top and you can actually see the airways down the bottom of the otoscope. So you can see that black hole down the bottom, that is the airways and the epiglottis moving. So that is when we're going to place our stylet down that airway into that hole and then thread the endotracheal tube over the top of it. Perfect. So there we go. We can see our epiglottis over the base of the tongue and we can see it moving around there. So what I'm going to do now, Laura, would you mind holding the head for me, please? No. Thank you. Do you want to have any more facts? No, nope, we're good. So place our stylet into the airway, holding the top. Thread the tube over the top and into the airway as well. We can then remove the stylet, holding the tube in place. And you want to check that it's in place by placing the capnograph on the end of it. Now we want to move this tube as little as possible so we're not traumatizing anything. And as we can see here, mind your arm, Perfect. We can see our trays coming up nicely. And that's it.